All right, it's been 21 years since Michael Jordan played his last game, but the Hall of Famer is still dunking on the competition when it comes to the frenzy surrounding his memorabilia. Sotheby's is auctioning off the red road jersey worn during the team's 1996-97 championship season. Huh? Uh -huh. Now, according to the Fine Arts broker, it's the most extensively worn and documented Bulls jersey of his that has ever gone to auction. You think it still smells sweaty? Um, I'm pretty sure because <laughs> you you want it you want it right off his back right yeah. you don't want to be no need wash them just give them to me yeah absolutely especially because he wore it in at least 17 games mm -hmm. and it's one of the two red jerseys he wore that season wow. its value uh just four to six million dollars <laughs> Dave, oh, you get them. You get them. I'm going to do the kind of like what we did when we were kids, lay away. We just put down payment <laughs> to the... Lay away till I die. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, if you're trying to go to the biggest games in baseball, it's going to cost you a pretty penny. Mm. Tickets for this year's World Series are set to be the most expensive ever. Wow. The New York Yankees and the Los Angeles Dodgers are facing each other in the championship series for the first time in 43 years. <laughs> Who are you going to vote for? I mean, who, who are you going to vote for? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me who you voting for. <laughs> who are you cheering I, for? I have to say, I'm a, I'm a Seattle fan, so it's hard for me to even get behind any of these teams. Well, Seattle, but, the West but Coast. I'll, I'll, I have to, I got to go Yankees, because my friend Susan is a huge Yankees fan, so oh, okay. he'll kill me if I don't go Okay, Yankees. I'll go Dodgers then. Okay, I'll Well, check this out. The average ticket price is around $1,700 on the secondary market. And that's <laughs> sitting way up high in nosebleeds, guarantee. <laughs> uh, last year, the cost was about $776 uh, across five games between the Texas Rangers and the Houston Astros. Yeah, I know, nobody wanted this. You just get, <laughs> sorry to our producer. Uh, the previous most expensive series was in 2016 between the Chicago Cubs and Cleveland when average tickets cost $1,600. Wow, game one is Friday in LA at 2 p.m. Hawaii time. Ooh. And it's expected to be an exciting weekend in Miami. At, this is all sports stories. <laughs> I know nothing about sports, but I sound like I know what I'm talking about. I Thanks, Matty. You're doing well, bro. All right, Thank this weekend much. in Miami is Tua Tango-Vailoa is back and appears on track to start on Sunday. Amazing. The Dolphins quarterback returned to the gridiron for the first time after suffering a concussion back on September 12th. Uh, it's been a noticeable absence too, especially offensively. Yeah. Since his injury, the Dolphins have struggled to get consistent quarterback play. The uh, Dolphins are two and four and scored just 40 points in the four games without Tango Vailoa. And, and by the way, one of those games was against the Seahawks, so thank you, because we won that game. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Listen to what some of his teammates had to say about his return. I'm just really proud of it, man. Like, just having him in the lineup, having him call the plays, having him, you know, um, direct the offense. Like, just hearing his voice. I know that sounds crazy, but... He's a big part of this team. He takes ownership of his, his craft and, and his leadership. He takes pride in that. So to get him back and to get, you know, uh, a guy that we trust and, and you know, who's a, a key part of this offense is very critical in this, in this organization. And the Dolphins take on the Arizona Cardinals on Sunday for week eight. Go get him, Tua. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I, my team is the um, Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> Because, you know... You they, know where the Kansas City Chiefs play or what? Yeah, one of those stadiums. <laughs> but I love the Dolphins because of Tua and now the Commanders yes, of because of uh, Marcus. So, yes, I mean, you know, yeah. okay, 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 okay. There we go. And the, as long as you the take Houston the local Texans, vibe, you're good. Got a, uh, you know, um, Kaimi, Fairbairn. <laughs> yes. Bro, good. Bro, I'm bro, you can place. name them all. Right, all, right, hey. all, right, <laughs> all right, hey, today is National Horror Movie Day. I can mm. name these movies because I'm a horror yeah, movie Yeah, you fan. enjoy that one. Now, based on domestic gross, here's how you saw my question.